I think it's wonderful that there are new boom towns and boom states. And I think that that should be celebrated. I also think that it would be great then if there are these southern Republican controlled states that they start paying their fair share and take care of Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas and Kentucky, because I'm sick of taking care of them from up here in New York or in California, because blue states pay the highest taxes. And then those federal dollars get shipped down south to make sure that they have decent schools, they have health care, they have good roads, et cetera. So by all means, South Carolina, Nancy Mace, who wants to take uh, credit for things she voted against, please give some money to Kentucky, help them out. Tommy Tuberville, talk about you all the time. You should be paying more and taking care of your own people instead of feeding off of Democrats that pay higher taxes. That was Fox News host Jessica Tarlov telling her Republican colleagues a pretty uncomfortable truth. If red states want to start punishing the people they call takers, well, they better start with their own public services first. Tarlov was making the point that across the board, blue states actually subsidize almost every aspect of red state life, from paying for their roads to covering the cost of their uninsured residents. And the reality is, the disparity isn't even close. Take a look at this chart from the Washington Post. Of the 15 states that send the federal government the most money per person, 13 of them are blue states, including evil New York and California. And the states that send the least? Well, they're almost exclusively red states. As you can see, if we put these two charts side by side, the top givers are providing more than twice as much to the government as the bottom givers. In other words, red states are pretty extreme freeloaders. But hey, that doesn't matter to the Republicans who want to cut funding to feed hungry kids, even if the money they're getting to pay for school lunches isn't coming out of their own pocket they'd still rather keep that blue state money to give to their real friends, the corporations. We talk about personal responsibility as one of the major um, principles that the Republican Party stands on. Um, yes, I can understand kids going hungry, but is that really the problem of the school district? Is that the problem of the state of North Dakota? It's really the problem of parents being negligent with their kids if their kids are choosing to eat in the first place, which is entirely the problem that could be existing here. I don't believe that it is our responsibility to carry on a program in excess of what the federal government already does. Where does it stop? That was North Dakota State Senator Mike Wabama. Wabima? Who cares? And this guy is one of the deciding votes for a bill that killed free school lunches for kids. Because, as he says, it sets a bad example to get kids accustomed to handouts. That's pretty rich for a state that took over $1.5 billion in federal aid last year, which accounts for almost 17% of their entire budget. And almost all of that money came from people in blue states. That's over $2,000 per North Dakotan. I didn't see him complaining about handouts then. Again, by the GOP's own logic here, this isn't really their money anyway. So maybe blue states should have a say in how those red states are spending all that free cash. After all, if kids can't eat a hot lunch on someone else's dime, why should North Dakota politicians get paid with our state cash? In fact, if Republicans really want to declare war on socialism, they can start by returning all that money they're getting from everywhere else, especially Mississippi, Louisiana, Arizona, and Kentucky. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Anti-Socialism Mitch McConnell's home state of Kentucky gets almost half of its entire budget from the federal government, or about $9.7 billion. If we compare that to foreign aid, Kentucky is the equivalent of six Afghanistans, something you'd definitely agree on if you've ever driven through the place. Without that federal aid, Kentucky would be the equivalent of one of the poorest nations in the world. So maybe Republicans ought to cool it before they decide to go on another rant about the evils of socialism. Because if Joe Biden and Democrats ever took them seriously, a good chunk of those red states would become failed nations overnight. Then nobody gets a hot meal. And if that didn't melt your brain, check out this video about a MAGA moron who has a pretty big conspiracy theory about Walmart. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.